The idea of the project is to create um, spaces around urban corridors that are for everyone, that um, are community spaces that are friendly and vibrant um, and help a community to get to know each other and generally be outdoors and be active. It's been really good because we've had people from all age groups um, spend time outside getting to know each other you know we've had people who would never end up talking to each other like um, the skateboarders and um, a few uh, mobility scooter users I think that was brilliant what happened yesterday where they were sharing tricks uh, on their scooters and skateboards and cycles and it just the at atmosphere was brilliant because there's one thing that connects everyone is places you, you all cross this you all live here so the whole point of the event was to showcase the designs we've come up with for this event the journey behind it and the great community spirit that's um, led us to the final designs um, so with that structure we wanted to uh, we've been projecting on the floor ideas that through these several months people have given us and at our previous event we asked them to sort of draw like graffitis of these and we collected them on iPads and um, then people projected them on the floors uh, and you could the, it just made the process really transparent you could see what people said I loved it I I just loved it I didn't even feel like I was working we've been here morning to night and we've met amazing people people are true experts you know of spaces you you think you've got an idea you talk to a hundred people and you you're amazed because everyone has a great idea and people who use the space know it the best I think the space that you're using now it's it, it, it looks lovely it's like I said before it's a really urban look in South End so it does need softened a little bit with the green and things like that my one idea for this space, I think would work, is having a big, a large chessboard. You know, you can't really tell that they're bus lanes, because I can't see yellow. And obviously I know that down there, like, it's all marked out in yellow, it's bus lanes. So they need a different, something different to obviously, you know, like I said, I know they've got the blind spots, but there's no levels of, of difference on the pavement and things. But definitely like having something like that in the summer and then changing it for the winter, yeah. that would be really good, really good. Oh, from, from a station, yes, definitely. Just anybody coming to South End for the first time, first impression, all important, isn't it? So when I walk down the street, I will be waving and smiling at so many people and I hope other people feel the same way, you know, they know each other now and they feel safer, they feel more connected and they want to walk and cycle and or scooter or whatever they choose but to you know use sustainable modes of transport to be active to be connected to their surroundings and um, connected to other people around uh, we are supported by the South End and Sea Borough Council who have been brilliant. Their ideas and motion team specifically, they are forward thinking, they have all the right ideas, they support the project. They, they love the fact that we are talking to people and bringing back their opinions to the council. Uh, we're also supported by Health Strength, which is the South End People's Health Trust. And it's great because they, they're promoting well-being in the larger sense. You want people to be active and you want people to know other people in their community. They enable more projects like these that help people in more than one way. The best part of yesterday was the number of kids we had. and. They have so much talent, they're such good kids, they were helping the older people, they were talking to them, telling them their stories, uh, telling them how they learned these tricks, uh, showing off their skills which was really good uh, and good fun and it really animates a space like this and it reminds you how talented kids in South End are. It's been so good. It's become sort of a temporary, iconic structure for the town. Because you can see it from so many different places and people have said, meet us there. A lot of people said it's become a meeting point. Um, it's become a conversation starter. So many people come and ask us and that led us to explain to them the project. 
it helped us reach out to so many different people and a conversation started between the community in general we've had people start talking to each other about the structure and how they would have built the structure uh, and w- how we should do this every Saturday how they can get involved so many people have come and said I want to do something like this I want to do this it's great and most people have said let's keep it or let's at least bring it out again and Stuart's music uh, I think that was really nice because it sounds like um, birds chirping sounds that you hear in town he cap- he went around capturing all of that and he's mixed it um, with bass and other music to create something truly unique people like the lights and people like the sound and people were just chilling around here uh, it was great you don't have to do anything around it it's, uh, people were just sitting here having a chat uh, enjoying it, discussing newer ideas of better and bigger sculptures for the future.